Hi, my name is Hui Qian, EE01004469. So, I'm uh, talking about the assignment for question 4, which for my part is 4 to 1 multiplexer using LD Spice. So, I uh, run the 4 to 1 multiplexer using LD Spice with 500 megahertz frequency, which means it will have uh, 2 nanoseconds of time period. So, we we'll should go to the LD Spice circuit. So I have created the LT Spice circuit. As you can see that there's four inputs A, B, C, D, and there's two select input which is S0 and S1. And the circuit is created by using three two to one multiplexer and it has one output. Okay, so firstly, I will talk about the select input. So for select input, we have select input 1 and select input 0. For select input 1, the time delay is 16 nanoseconds, which means that it will go up to 1 to 1.8 volt after 16 nanoseconds, which initially is 0 volt, and it will remain at 1.8 volt for 16 nanoseconds and the process will repeat every 32 nanoseconds so as you can see here the transition is set to 32 nanoseconds which means that for this case the 16 nanoseconds of time delay it will produce as a truth, truth table it will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. and for the select input 0 the time delay and time on is 8 nanosecond, which means that it will become 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And next I will talk about the input A, B, C, D. So for the input A, the time delay and time on is 4 nanoseconds. For B is time delay and time on is 2 nanoseconds. And for C is time delay and time on is 1 nanoseconds. For D is the time delay and time on is 0 0.5 nanoseconds. So all the time delay and time on is different because we want to check for the whether the truth table is the the result is according to the truth table. So we will straight try to run the, the, the circuit. Okay, so we see it. This is the for the V output. The V A, V B, V C, V D is the input. The V S one, V S zero is the what is for select input one and select input zero. So we will look at the truth table. So let's see the first one. The select input one and zero is zero. Both are zero. So the output will be equals to x0 which for our case is vd so let's see when s1 and s0 is 0 which is this range so the v output is same as vd as you can see here so next is the select input 1 is 0 and select input 0 is 1 which we look at here so the output will be equals to x1 which is c so 1 is eh, sorry 0 1 so the output is same as the voltage c so when 0 the vc is also 0 so it's also the same as the truth table and the next one is 1 0 1 0 which the output is equal to x2 which is vb so 1 0 so over here so the voltage is equal to vb so it is also correct and finally select input 1 of 1 and select input 0 of 1 so the output will be equal to x3 which is voltage a so 1 1 so at this range it is same as the voltage a 
which is over here so we can conclude that the result is running according to the truth table so the this shows that the 4 to 1 multiplexer is the circuit is correct and one more thing for to fulfill the requirement of 500 megahertz which is 2 nanoseconds we can see that for every 2 nanoseconds it will produce an output so for here the 2 nanoseconds the 4 nanoseconds the 6 nanoseconds 8 nanoseconds 10 nanoseconds 12 nanoseconds so every 2 nanoseconds you will produce an output so that is all for me for the 4 to 1 multiplexer the run the 4 to 1 multiplexer using LT Spice. so thank you